Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to delete duplicate files on your Windows 11 computer. So, if you have a lot of duplicate files, you just want to go ahead and clean some of them out. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, we're going to start off by opening up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, but for today's tutorial, we're going to open up Google Chrome. And you want to search for duplicate cleaner free. Go ahead and hit enter. One of the best results should be from a website that says duplicatecleaner.com. Go ahead and open this up. Go ahead and select the download for Windows button. And it shouldn't take too long to download. And once it's done downloading, go ahead and open it up. You can minimize or close out of the web browser. You want to select next, accept the end user license terms and select next again. And you want to select next, select install, and select yes. And then you want to run duplicate cleaner now, select finish. So it automatically puts us on this professional version here for registration. We have a seven-day trial here. I believe it reverts back to the free version after seven days, but we only need it for today's tutorial anyway. So listen, you don't have to pay for it to do what we're showing in today's tutorial. In worst case scenario, you just uninstall it after the seven days or once we're done doing what I'm showing in this tutorial, which you're welcome to do. There's no obligation to have to keep it on your computer. So anyway, now that we're on this page here, you want to go ahead and select underneath search criteria. You want to make sure it's set to same content. And then you also have additional options here where you're looking for files that have the same file name as well as file extension. And you even have more options for search filters here as well over here on the right. And then once you're done with that, you'll select the scan location button. And if you want to add a folder to the scan, you can just click on that orange button right here. And if you want to add a folder to search, you go ahead and select your folder where you want to scan on the left side here. And you can expand it and select a more specific folder and then drag it over to the right. And then once you're done with that, you go ahead and select the Start Scan button and then select Start Scan. And you see no duplicate files were detected. So once you have this page here, you can select the Duplicate Files button and it would tell you where the file locations are that are duplicate. So pretty straightforward. Do I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.